does it feel to be in the game with you? I mean, it's exciting. It's exciting because we've been grinding since December. Really, I think it's December. December, January, we've been grinding. And we've been just taking it one day at a time. And, and we get to watch that countdown clock say, you know, 200 plus days or whatever it is. And it seems like it's forever away. But literally, we know it comes. We take it one, one day at a time. And, and you just worry about where your feet are. It, it pops up on you really fast. So it was, it, it's exciting for it to finally be game week. Last week, it was kind of, um, I mean, surreal that we were one week away. And now that it actually is game week, you know, it's all that excitement of, of college football being back. You know, it's kind of hard to explain. It's just the coach always says it's a high you can't buy. It's, it's just an excitement. I remember Sunday I woke up and I was just, it was just a, a pure excitement. And I talked to a lot of my teammates about it, and they were saying the same thing. It's just it's that excitement to know that we get to go out and play the game on, on, a, on Saturday. Is there a difference in the feel around the team this year at this time as opposed to last year? I think I think it's the same feel, you know, it's it's because everybody starts the season zero zero. You know, nobody starts the season with with a loss or a win in the in the, in the column. So I think that the field is still the same. Um, I do think that there is a, a more of an excitement, a little bit more of an excitement just for the fact that we know that this is probably one of the best teams that we've had here in a very long time, especially one of the best teams we've had since Coach Morris has gotten here. And so I think there is a, a little bit of a of a, a change in the excitement just because of the fact that we do know that we have a chance to be really, really good this year. Um, but, I mean, like I said, every, te every team starts the season 0-0. Zero zero. So I think it's about what and what. I think it's just like a more pure of excitement um, just because of the fact that we know that there's a chance for us to do something special this year. You say that you think this could be one of the best teams that you've been around in SMU. What is it about the team? Like, where do you see the biggest improvements from years past? Uh, Coach Moore is always, everybody, anybody that's close to our program knows that our purpose is relationships. And that <clears throat> comes from within and also outside. So building relationships with our teammates, the coaches, um, staff, and everybody in this building, and then onward to the school side of, of being a student athlete. And so I think we've grown so much as a, as a team. Uh, we're so much closer. And uh, Coach, we had a speaker come in, and he was talking about moving from a team to a tribe. And so a, t a tribe is somebody, uh, is a group of people who know that they know exactly what their brother's going to be, and, they, and it, it makes everything roll smoothly. So I think we've definitely migrated from that team to a tribe mentality, and everybody's trying to take care of each other. You know, it's, 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 such, it's so close that it's kind of it's crazy to, to, to think that, you know, none of us are really related or anything because it, it just seems like we, we have that unity, and everybody's just purely excited for each other. You know, we don't have any of the why why him, why him, or why not me mentality on our team. You know, everybody just wants to be able to make SMU great, make our program great, and they're going to do their role to make us great. What are you looking to accomplish this year? I want to be able to, you know, go out each week with the team and, and, and be 1-0 every day. You know, we have to take care of one game at a time. We can't look at the big picture. When we look at the big picture, that's when you start passing up you start getting passed up because you don't take care of where your feet are. When you don't take care of where your feet are, that's when things start going, getting past you. So I'm just excited about being able to go out each each day and then each week and being one and zero, and make sure we take care of where our feet are so that we don't get passed up in any in any pa any sense of the season. What does the other side of the ball look like from your observation and practice? It looked good. Young, energetic, um, very fast. I think our, I think our defense is very fast. Which is um, which is really good, especially uh, going against the way college football is now. Having a, a very fast and conditioned defense is, is really good. And I think we allow our defense to, to be like that, and, and they're prepared for just about any offense that we get put up against because they get to go against us every day. And and we have periods in practice where we just go tempo, and it's 12 plays or so of us just going really fast. And that I think that conditions our, our defense, and it also lets them be ready for anything. You know, it's, it's, it's one of those things that when you were prepared for anything, nothing, nothing catches you off guard. And Coach Morris has done a great job of, of preparing us for that. You know, we'll be in the middle of, of practicing, and we'll think it's a cup break, and we'll be jogging a cup break, and he hits it with a boom, sudden change. Offense down three, going into halftime. Um, 20 something seconds left on the clock, what's going to happen? And it puts the coaches in, in a situation where they have to react, and also puts the players in a situation where they have to know situation. And, and what's going on. And I think that helped offense and defensively 
let us be, be um, sound and, and also let us not be caught off guard in any type of situation. What have you seen from SFA so far in preparation for Saturday? Uh, they're, they're, they have a new defense coordinator, so it's, uh, we've been watching a lot of UT Martin um, defensively because they were in the same, they're probably going to bring the same scheme. Um, I mean, they have a, a very unique defense. Anybody that's watched them, they have a, a very unique defense. It's different than anything that, that we played against in my three years here. And so it's going to be exciting to get to go against them. Um, I, we have an amazing, our coaches are downstairs right now creating a, a game plan that's, that's amazing. And, and I'm excited to see it coming to um, fulfillment, you know, once we, once we step on the field on Saturday. So um, I think their, their defense is, is different um, than anything I've seen, but we have got, we're going to have a great game plan to go up against them.